April 2011 marked the beginning of a mysterious internet saga when a member of 4chan posted a link to a unique Facebook profile. The profile belonged to a woman named Karen Catherine Waldengrave, and its contents were so bizarre they called for an investigation from 4chan's paranormal board. At first glance, Karen appears to be a normal, happy woman, often seen smiling in her photos, has what looks to be a loving husband, and lists having a PhD in international relations. But one look at her actual post and something feels immediately wrong. Karen's status updates consist of long stream of consciousness diatribes that make little or no sense. Often they contain incoherent mentions of family genealogy, conspiracy theories, or just random word association. This alone would be enough to raise flags about the mental health of Karen Catherine Waldegrave. But even stranger is that after posting such a status, she would often stay online for many hours writing replies. It's not unprecedented for Karen to spend 12 hours replying to herself up to two to three hundred times, usually as the only participant in the discussion. And these statuses, along with their subsequent replies, are rarely pleasant. In fact, one can often find aggression ranging from death threats to public figures, to accusations of murder and stalking. Curiously, when one looks at the timestamps on these posts, they quickly notice they often appear within seconds of each other. Given their lengths, one might conjure images of Karen's fingers flying in a frenzy over her keyboard. Or perhaps she wrote these replies ahead of time and simply copied and pasted them. Or, as some suspect, could this be the work of what is known as a Markov chain generator? Named after Russian mathematician Andrei Markov, a Markov chain generator is a predictive algorithm designed to generate a string of text, written in the style of whatever data it's fed as a reference. For example, when we input the critique of pure reason by Immanuel Kant as a reference into a Markov generator, the algorithm produces something that sounds vaguely like it, but upon closer inspection is complete nonsense. One could argue that this is exactly how a post from Karen reads. Not only do her posts appear procedurally generated, but recently many of her pictures, collages of seemingly random images compiled together, do as well. Another theory is that, because Karen so adamantly implicates the CIA in many of her status updates, she is a victim of MKUltra, a mind control program which uses non-consenting humans as test subjects. Although, if taken at face value, Karen's accounts could be interpreted as a testimonial, desperately trying to expose government wrongdoings, and the victimhood of herself and her family. The only evidence to support this is purely anecdotal and only convincing to those with a penchant for conspiracy theory. Perhaps the most intriguing theory is that Karen's profile is a haven for multiple people to communicate with one another via a coded language. Support for this theory includes the sheer number of posts. Some weeks, the posts reach several thousand seemingly too much for one person to maintain. Also, the language used, unintelligible to a layman, could possibly be code for members of a secret organization. But what sort of organization? Sadly, one can only speculate. Taking into account all aspects of Karen Catherine Waldegrave's profile and applying Occam's razor, 
one would be justified in concluding that Karen suffers from a mental illness and her Facebook page is simply a display of symptoms. These symptoms include hypergraphia, the compulsion to write or draw with most sufferers not producing anything substantive or sensible, but as a kind of temporal lobe epilepsy, word salad, confused or unintelligible mixtures of seemingly random words and phrases, paranoia, a type of thinking that includes delusions of persecution or conspiracy. While it would be irresponsible for someone outside the medical field to offer a diagnosis, it's important to note that all these symptoms are associated with schizophrenia. And although speculation in this matter is ill-advised, it's likely that Karen Catherine Waldegrave assuming she is a real person and not a decoy for a secret organization, is not entirely sound mind, and her chaotic Facebook page serves as a glimpse into the life of a mentally distressed person.